Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Hearts of Iron 4 Co-op at Germany with me, Commissar Roach, and Rivalzone Gaming. Hello! Uh, in the last episode, I don't remember what we did last episode. What was it? Last episode, um, we finished off the UK, which means I'm now learning to speak German. Danke schön, everyone. Um, and then we started our little escapade up in Sweden. We're going to push through the whole of Sweden, clear Sweden out, and so we have a, a northern front for the USSR, or Soviet Union, whatever you want to call it, so that we can finally start planning to take them out completely with the help of Japan. Yes, that is correct. Okay, I am just rejiggering all of our factories, because we got a lot from uh, the, uh, the the current Western territory, what used to be known as the UK. <laughs> the Western territory. <laughs> I like that. Um, we just need to get all of these factories put into places. I'm actually thinking about... Uh, do we have... Uh, yeah, we have a line for anti-tank. I'm thinking about maybe putting up a second line for fighter craft. That makes sense. We lost a lot. Well, no, that's the thing. We didn't lose a lot. We were just we're making we were making them about the same rate that we were building new ones. So. Yeah, but we we would like to have a surplus, wouldn't we? Yes, we would. There we go. Okay, we have two a lines. Very large. <laughs> we have two lines of fighters. We're full up on our self-propelled artillery, self-propelled anti-air, and our uh, heavy tank twos. Uh, we've yeah. also gone full in on our strategic bombers, our medium tanks, our tactical bombers, basically almost everything. We're, on, we're full yeah. on most everything. Uh, just going to check our resistance tab. We have a lot of resistance in the for, in the area formerly uh, known as England. Uh, <laughs> so what I'm thinking oh, is, awesome. uh, is the invasion force is going to go for a garrison order of... Uh, uh, probably the probably London here, yeah, just everywhere. We're gonna do that, and hopefully that yeah. works. I'm thinking. We'll see. Mm. Uh, what do we have being recruited and deployed? No MPs. So yeah, we need to build MPs. MPs. There they are. I'm thinking we're gonna build. Uh, it took us 45 in France. I'm gonna say 25. They're gonna be deployed in Wilhelm. Right, we're gonna put them in Essen in the Rhineland. They'll be they'll be close to get onto a port on the channel and get over yep. there. And hopefully that. Uh, Hopefully we don't have to deal with too many um, uprisings. <clears throat> uh, you're up in the uh, S your Swedish theater, right? You've got your uh, yes. You've got your ten divisions up there. Um, Swedish theater, yes, got ten divisions. Uh, currently, we were redeploying south to take Copenhagen. Okay. Well, so, uh, to I, take, I, I, take uh, Copenhagen's Denmark. Uh, you're, you're taking that little town in oh. the south, but it's got a, it's got a port Blood on port. it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I initially made the mistake of trying to push north, and then realized that you actually meant clear out the south. So I have a plan all set up. I was just waiting for them to get themselves all set up. Great. Because got divisions, not in positions, and things like that. So. Great. I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have the uh, time tick forward now. Take us off cool. pause. Uh, yeah, I'm also going to look at uh, Venezuela, because we were making some discussions. We need uh, some, we need something in the, in the, uh, in the Americas to help us. Yeah, we were discussing it off camera, weren't we? We were thinking about picking up Venezuela as a jumping off point to, for our push on, like, the United States. Yeah, we just need to increase their view of us uh, by... Hmm. Well, we could improve relations. 
see if that helps, because we're one point away from being able to put a non-aggression pact on them and ask for military access. Ooh, nice. Yeah. <clears throat> also, it would be really good for us, because Free France, the UK, and the Netherlands all have territory right next to Venezuela, and currently the Netherlands' uh, capital is in that area. Oh, isn't that nice? We can take it again. <laughs> yep, yeah, and hopefully the uh, our allies in Africa are doing pretty well, and they can uh, start pushing into the uh, the last of these uh, nations' holdings down there. Yeah, they've got a couple of bits in like uh, this, um, like. Vietnam and things like that, and South Korea, haven't they? But nothing much. Well, Vietnam's being uh, being fought over. Uh, the Siamese Empire pushed out and put took quite a bit of uh, free, uh, like French Indochina. Uh huh. And uh, though the U.S. has now deployed troops there, so that's a thing. Because of course the U.S. has deployed troops in Vietnam. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> we would also have the landing that the Italians did in. Uh, in uh, uh, what's the, uh, uh, India. That's the oh one. yeah, they cut the country in half, didn't they? Yep. Well, I don't know if they. Yeah, they still have. Yep. They've actually expanded it now. It's two provinces deep that cut. So they've actually uh, they're doing pretty good. And there's not a lot to fight them. Okay, we've done that. Um, that little holding they had. That's gone. Great. Uh, I'm going to redeploy to a small section of the Northern Front. Yeah. Because they've actually got Is quite it? a few troops now. They have, but they've got this massive uh, area. Oh, that, middle, that area's got a lake in the middle of it. Look at the map. Yeah, but there's two provinces that join onto the lake, but they have no one defending them. But you can't cross so the can... lake. No, Does but it... if I can push through, I can go north. Okay. That might work. And yeah, they have... Maybe over a hundred divisions, it looks like. So they've yep. been, they've been uh, they're scraping the bottom of the barrel, so they're, uh, <laughs> they don't really have anything spare, so they probably put most of their men in, uh, uh, in, uh, what's the word? Under arms. Yeah. Uh, it looks like the UK is trying gun. to do invasions, but they keep getting destroyed. A lot of convoys are getting just destroyed before they even get to the aisle. I'm surprised. Nope. What? <laughs> We've got complete sea dominance around the entire island, for crying out loud. Yep. And anything they send has got to come all the way around the Horn of Africa and everything, isn't it? Because they can't go through the Mediterranean. We've got that cut off. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that. And I don't even know if they have anything left in the Mediterranean. Yeah, they still have Cyprus. And they still have Malta. Malta's being defended by four divisions of... Uh, actually, it's been defended by one Turkish division, two UK <laughs> divisions, one British Malayan <laughs> division. <laughs> Give them their due. They're, they're giving it everything they've got. They, but, uh, hey, Turkey's still in the fight, somehow. But yeah. I love that Greece is actually... Uh, I, I like the. I like the. these kind of borders are starting to naturally form between our allies and what they've taken. Like, look at Turkey. And look at yep. how G Greek territories expanded and been given by uh, the Italians. Like, uh, Greece now controls Istanbul. Yep. That's nice. that was the uh, entrance to the Black Sea? Uh, I think that's yeah. the Black Sea, yeah. Yeah. Because that's how the Soviets got into the Mediterranean and out to the, uh, the Atlantic. Yeah. From Sebastopol. Sorry if that music was too loud, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot that I turned it up in a personal game. Ooh. Some German Swedish are, pu are pushing back. Yeah, they are. But they might end up getting themselves cut off. Oh, yes, because I now have a plan in my head. Just don't get cut off yourself. No, I'm going for Gothenburg. Gothenburg. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. That's what they're using to reinforce this, what, their right flank. Do you want another 
Do you want another ten divisions? If you've got them to spare, I will take them. They won't be. They won't be. Uh, they'll be green. So they won't be trained. So they'll get their training on the battlefield. Yeah. They, but do you, do you think you need them? Um, given the numbers we're up against, even green troops are going to be able to shoot something. All right. Okay, ten divisions have deployed. They're in your, uh, they're in your army, and I'm moving them. Uh, across. Since technically you have a land border, they're going, uh, they're going by land through Copenhagen. Cool. But they are, they are coming over. They're currently just, uh, they're currently next to. Uh, uh, pa uh, I <laughs> German. Yeah, <laughs> I know what you mean. Wow, this line is just growing. Constantly. Oh, that's why all these convoys are going. I just remember. I just, I just saw. There's one island that the UK still owns, right to the north of, uh, of uh, Scotland. Oh. Right, yeah. Is that is that Scarpa Flow or is that another one? No, Scarpa that, Flow. That's down uh, no, south. No, it's not. But, that's yeah. down south. Yeah, that's the Shetlands. Shetlands. Okay, so yeah, they still own the Shetlands. Well, that's not allowed. No, we'll have to <laughs> we'll have to use our uh, we'll have to we'll have to wait until I get a little bit of until I get some uh, uh, what's the word uh, until I uh, get the MPs here and we'll uh, we'll just uh, naval invade the uh, those islands. Cool. Where do we have the navy deployed? I just realized. Oh, over here. Okay. Italians and everything allowed the Swedish to come down that left flank. That's just disgraceful. Uh, the uh, Spanish are making a landing to the north. Cool. Way north. <laughs> way, way north. Yeah. Okay, your forces are now just naval landing in uh, that one port. Yeah, I saw. Sorry, I'll take back the other one. That's the first one. And looks like they're almost there. Nice. Once they're there, you can uh, assign them to your. Uh... Or they're already assigned, actually. Never mind. Yeah, I assigned them already. Looks like two of the divisions already got there. There you go. Cool. 20 divisions for the Swedish theater. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and wait for them. <clears throat> Let's see how the U.S. Navy's doing. By the way, <laughs> the Japanese still control part of Hawaii. You're joking. No, they're they taking it back. They still control Honolulu. Uh, the U.S. Navy's down to a hundred ships. From its wow. 300 original. Uh, and the Japanese are down to 89. They've been just... <laughs> both of them have been slugging it out for a year. Oh, well, looks like there's still a British battle cruiser and a heavy, uh, uh, heavy cruiser on the sea. Uh, the HMS Renown battle cruiser and the yep. uh, HMS... Uh... Oh, you said this. Cavendish? Yes, Cavendish. Well done. Yeah, hey, hey, I remember. You remembered. Well done. Uh, I'm impressed. Don't need the condescension. 
<laughs> wasn't condescension, it was actually me going, yeah, well done. Because yeah. uh, people forget how to say it all the time, I'm sorry. What is, what is a Cavendish? Is that, is, is that a, what is that? Is that a type of fruit? Sounds like a type of fruit. I honestly have no idea. I just know that around where I live, there is a road called Cavendish Road. And yeah. it's like a, a word that's used a lot in the Leicester area. Mm. Ah, well. Come on, guys. Push them back. That's it. They're not big divisions. I mean, they're... They have a couple of support artillery units inside of them that's bulking out their forces. <clears throat> that's really about it. Uh, speaking of which, I think... Yeah, I think we could do that. I'm gonna... I'm gonna what, on, on our force artillery. Well, we already have support artillery companies, but you can do mm -hmm. this. You can actually put an artillery battalion in the divisions as well. So instead of it being so, ooh, what the heck? Uh, Indian nationalists ask for support. Uh, I don't know how to say that leader's name. Leader of all of the all India forward block has come to Berlin to ask for our help in the struggle for Indian freedom. In a letter to Adolf Hitler, he expressed his admiration and suggested that an ex uh, independent India would, I India would be a valuable ally in the effort to restore the German Reich to its rightful place in the world. Well, we're kind of late on that. We already I think we're already past its its point. We're just yeah, we're seeing how far we can go. Yeah, we're, we're kind of just going, hmm, interesting, that's nice, let's see how much more we can take. So we have uh, so we have two options, the British took our colonies, now we take theirs, and what uh -huh. an absurd notion. I think, I think having, I think having the British Raj on our side would be a great thing. I do, especially in that kind of area of the world. Yeah. Okay, we've given the support, but uh, like I said, we're doing, uh, I'm going to put our, our, an artillery battalion in the infantry divisions which will bulk up okay. the amount of guns inside of it by a lot we're going right. to see if that helps uh, that increases the HP quite a bit soft attack and heart attack is increased by a lot uh, defense is increased by a lot it brings down the organization a little bit brings down recovery rate, it's a bit heavier requires more supply uh, it has uh, about 133 more guns to the uh, to the division, so I think that's good. I think that'll help because they have two support artillery units inside of theirs. So hopefully that uh, this evens it out a bit. Yeah. So British Raj, you've asked for support. Are you going to have an uprising soon? Is that that's great? It. Got them off. There you go. Could stage a coup. That's a possibility. Uh, could stage a coup in East Bengal. Mm. Or down south here. That might be a thing. Yeah. We'll do that. Let's stop and let people reorganize. My organization is through the floor. Because there's a big counterattack going on in India right now. Ah, that's uh, Americans why. just uh, Americans just landed and they've uh, they're uh, doing a lot. Okay. How goes our MPs? They are ready, all 25 divisions. Nice. And there we go. So they're all going across to the UK now. Yep, I'm going to have them land. Uh, and then we get all these divisions back to yep. Boston. I'm going to have them go to Dunkirk, and then I'm going to have them go over to Dover. And uh, then start taking over. We might have to have another set. We'll see. Hopefully not. I mean, the amount of territory that we had to cover with 45 is roughly double that of what we have to cover in the UK, so hopefully we can uh, manage this with just 25 divisions. Mm. Uh, we'll put this in the MP theater. 
25, give you a no nothing commander, like, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, William Ritter Von Lieb. Yes. Ah, there you go. He sounds like a nice guy. Really? With that kind of name, I think he got, I think he got made fun of a lot as a kid. <laughs> Which then again, that might explain why he's a Nazi. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Waiting for the organization to build up. <sighs> Who is uh, justifying on us now? The Soviet Union is justifying on Greece. Wow. Although that kind of makes sense. They get a better access to the Med. Yeah, well, I don't know why they would want a better access to the Mediterranean. They have... They don't really. I mean, it's not like they could really go anywhere. We we control every point into the Mediterranean and out. Yeah, I'll give the Swedes their uh, their due. They are not going quietly. Well, remember, this is a paradox game, and paradox is a Swedish company. So, so it's it's widely mm. considered that Sweden's always overpowered in the games that they make. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kind of looking at. I'm holding the left flank with. 20 divisions. If I was going to push back, I'd probably need like three times the number. Well, it's lucky that you might have three times the number coming over there soon, including armored. <laughs> yeah, that would actually probably be a, a good thing. Yeah, Once we, we got, get the MPs in place, obviously. We got 7th Army and 6th Army just kind of sitting doing nothing in uh, in the UK. If we, can, if we can swing it, I might deploy... Um, I might deploy a uh, contingent of transport planes and our paratroopers to jump into like uh, like the north or something and rush towards like uh, uh, Gothenburg or something like that. Just take Stockholm. Yep. Yeah, essentially. Okay. Just drop them straight on top of Stockholm. Yeah, Stockholm's got a lot of guys on it. Well, it's only got five divisions, but still, it's not that. Uh, or maybe the port to the south, then. Maybe. What is it, Somaliland? Naval base? Hmm. Okay, there we go. Let's get you guys started garrisoning the south here. Come on, have you to go? What do you mean division's still preparing? They should all be prepared by now. I don't see any bars going up. Okay, there we go. Alright, they're there. We'll okay, they don't how... wait any longer. We'll see how this goes. They have much better suppression than the rest of uh, the army. Once I see how this is impacting our... Uh, 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 revolt risk in that area will uh, mm -hmm. will deploy. No problems. Okay, we got free civilian factories. Yep, looks like uh, the entirety of the uh, of the eastern wall is uh, is about to be finished. I bolted it up so that this uh, salient actually has uh, I think level ten or level eight. Level 8 or 10 uh, 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 fortresses. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, in that little salient, so they can't break it. Sweet. Uh, but I don't know what we're going to do with the rest of our factories. We could uh, could bulk out the radar installations in the Western Territories. Why not put radar installation in the Eastern Territories? Well, I was going to do that as well, but I do want to I do want to put a level 3 in Northern Ireland and the Scottish Islands to cover oh, the... Yeah. Uh, covered that northern approach. No, oh, I like that idea. And then, we put some... Uh, yeah, here's good. Good. There we go. We got four level threes being made there.
and one just south of Denmark in uh, Salzvig Holstein to help you in uh, Sweden. Cool. And that should be good. Yeah. All right. Let's see how our resistance map mode's looking. You're getting dealt with. You're not. You are. Everywhere else looks good. So first things first, I'm gonna I'm gonna have Sixth Army, the paratroopers. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna have them uh, just. Eh. I'm gonna have them move to Dover and then uh, then back to the mainland. Okay, the Italians have made a breakthrough on Norping to the Norping. north. Great, that'll take uh, that'll take pressure off the south. Yep. But we are at the end of this episode. Already. Yes, we are. So, thank you for joining us for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. Because uh, I know I read all my comments, and I think uh, Rival reads all his as well. So, always I appreciated. Uh, as well as taking a look at the uh, subscription. If you want to help support the channels more, taking a look at the description and subscribing. Because uh, in the description, we have a link to the other perspective. So, if you're looking at mine, you can see Rival's perspective. If you're looking at uh, Rival's, you can see my perspective. And in my description, there's also a link to my Discord and my Patreon. So, take a look at those. Every little bit helps. But I will see you in... Well, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye-bye.